I remember a movie came out when I was in first year of my college and the movie's name was Matrix and it was quite a popular movie and it was a very new concept at that time. The special effects were great and uh, the concept of the whole uh, that whole movie was something very novel and uh, we enjoyed that movie but what I see today is that what the movie shows is that there is a matrix and there is this character called Neo who's the protagonist and he wakes up and realizes that reality is very different from what is shown in the matrix. So then he plugs into the matrix and then there is an antagonist um, called Agent Smith and there is a fight between the two and you know the story goes on like that. In the movie they show that he takes the pill and he comes out of the matrix. But the thing to note here is that there is no way out of the matrix when it comes to reality. Because it is true that the influence of Maya or illusion is everywhere. So we don't deny that we are in a matrix. We are in a matrix and matrix is bondage. It is suffering. But at the same time, if you think that you can use your mind to get out of the matrix, that will not be possible. Because the mind will create an alternate reality, which again will be a matrix. So when this uh, character Neo, he takes the pill and he comes out of the matrix, he wakes up, he realizes that he is in a city of Zion and that also is a matrix because it has the same political structure, there are hierarchies and it is again a bondage. To break free from the matrix, the only thing to be realized is what matrix is. When the matrix is seen for what it is, there is instant liberation. Matrix is the mind. Matrix is the body. I remember uh, I saw a documentary long back where a, where a girl from some affluent town, some affluent city like Mumbai or I don't recall which city exactly it was. She was making a documentary on a city called Oroville in India. So this city is like, um, this city is actually uh, situated in parts of the state of Tamil Nadu and Pondicherry. And it is a place where people explore, you know, higher consciousness and uh, there is a meditation center also over there. And that girl said that this feels like a cult. And I do agree with her that it is a cult. But what she didn't notice was that where she was coming from is also a cult. The nine to five is also a cult. The body is also a cult. The mind is also a cult. There is no escape from cult. Now, I'm not saying, I'm not justifying those cults where abuse takes place. That is a completely different thing. But 
there is no escape from cult when you are in duality because duality is the interconnected link of opposites the only way to attain freedom from the matrix is to see what the matrix is the way out of the matrix is through the matrix there is no other way